Yeah, I put it on my heart. Speak. Say this, you know, this, this is new to me. This, you know, that's not what I do. Come on, I, don't, I ain't, I ain't, you know, with showing what everybody what I'm doing every minute. That's just not me. That's not how I get down. You know what I'm saying? You see me when you see me. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna change. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna change. Well, I love who I am. I'm God's child. We all are. We all are. If you don't know it, you're gonna miss out on 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 on, on so many blessings that he has for you. That he has for you. And it comes from insight. Just come from just come from being aware. Being aware. The word says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Perish is not always dying. It's being lost. Not being able to found. Not, not being able to be found. This man is destroyed. When it says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, he's talking about Israelites, all right? He's referencing Hosea 4 and 6. When it says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, all right? That's not talking about the world, okay? It, the Lord's people are the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Wish this individual would be, all right? And as you can see, Esau bitch ass. I saw something else under the sun. In the place of justice, there was wickedness. In the place of what was right, it was wickedness again. I thought to myself, God will judge both religious, both righteous and wicked people. Because it's a time for every matter and every deed. Oh, he's telling you right here. He's telling you. Let me do what I do and fall in. Who is the wicked, though? To the Who is the wicked? Normally. Who is the wicked? All right. Two thirds of the, of the nation of Israel, two thirds of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're wicked. Hell, you've even surpassed the deeds of the wicked, as it says in Jeremiah 5 and verse 26 on down, all right? But the wicked, according to the Bible, is the Edomites, all right? In Malachi chapter 1, verse 4, all right? Esau is the border of wickedness and the people whom the Lord had indignation forever, all right? Esau, Edom, that's the wicked. All right, why isn't he saying this? And then look at this individual. Look at this man's head. All right, while you trying to read scriptures and shit, I mean, it's in, the, in the scriptures are not shit. You know what I'm saying? So like you for that. But while this nigga is trying to read scriptures and quote scriptures, nigga, did you read Leviticus where it says, "Thou shalt not round the corner of thy head, nor the, no, I mean, round round thy head or the corner of thy beard." You know what I'm saying? This nigga has a smooth ass head, like he didn't took a razor across it. All right, like he didn't took a razor across it. It's like it's early in the morning. I just got up, all right, and I'm putting this up raw, all right. But yeah, just look at this individual, all right. He is destroyed, all right. But it just goes to show that you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge, all right. Ask for every opportunity to pray. I'm saying I won't, but it's more important that you learn how to pray for yourself. You might not always have somebody with you that can pray. You might not always. First off, the scriptures say, you know what I'm saying? The only prayer that the, the Most High Yahweh Bashmiah Shah only hears the prayers of the righteous. He does not hear the prayers of the of, of sinners, all right? And he, he actually even said, the scriptures actually say, pray not for this people and neither make intercession for, for, to, to me for them, for I will not hear it. That's Jeremiah, I think it's 7 and 16, all right? The Most High is not dealing with the whole nation of Israel, and he's damn sure not dealing with the whole fucking world. He's only dealing with the house of David, all right? His elect, which was preordained from the foundation of the earth, all right? It's nothing you can do to make yourself of that number. Now, it's something you can do to make your calling an election, sure, but to make yourself of that number, no, we don't know it, all right? And that's a beautiful thing, because if any, any of us did know it, we, you know how puffed up we would be? You know how... How, how we will walk around in a in a gloat in a gloatful like state, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about Shmuel ain't dealing with no prideful ass individuals, all right? He's dealing with lowly men who are seeking the kingdom of heaven the first time around and want to put you fucking heathens, you know what I'm saying? In the slavery, right? That's what he's looking for.
this damn devil and fuck the feed up. All right, let me stop it right quick and I'm gonna come back and finish it. And then we're gonna break it down through the scriptures, through the scriptures, Lord willing to be able to find. Okay, I'm back. I had to uh, stop it right there, you know, Esau Edom. So bitch ass fucking with the feed, all right? And Esau Edom is the so-called white man, if I hadn't said that already. It's the so-called white man, all right? So let's let this continue on. In touch with somebody that can say a prayer for you, and you need a prayer. God has given you the time. He's given you the time to get closer to him, to become familiar with, 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 with you know, what's going on, what's, how you're supposed to move. lost a lot of people and again I can those go to their families but like the word said they're better off than we are when you think about it what hurts the most is that we won't we won't see them again and they won't be here with us and that's how you know this individual is destroyed and does not know the bible all right wicked men understand not judgment all right evil men understand not judgment all right Everybody that perished and that dies, you know what I'm saying, they go to the spirit world, all right, and they're and they're reincarnated, all right. So will you see them again in this life and have remembrance of them? No, but that does not mean that you will never see them again, all right. Every spirit returns to the father, to the father, and then is sent back on the earth to live out the judgment that was given in the heavens, all right. This man doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. What God are you talking about? All right? Because the scriptures say in Psalms, let me get it right quick. Enough quoting. Let me let me start pulling and cutting this nigga up because he's talking about God. But what God, all right? Because the scriptures say if our gospel be hid, it be hid to those that are lost and whom the God of this world had blinded, all right? So um, it's, it's many gods, all right? And the God of this world is, is Eden. I mean, it's Esau, all right? Get it one second. All right, this is Psalms chapter 96 and verse 5. All right, it says, For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Most High Yahweh made the heavens. All right, so there's many gods, all right? So for this individual to keep saying, God, 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 who are you talking about? Are you talking about the gods of the other nations? Or are you talking about the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? Because that's the God that, that runs the world, all right? This is Isaiah chapter 2. We're going to start at verse 1. It says, this is the message that was revealed to Isaiah, the son of Amos, concerning Judah and Jerusalem. So this is talking about the, the the southern and the northern kingdom, all right? The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, all right? This is verse 2, Isaiah 2 and 2. It says, In the last days, the mountain of the Lord, of the Lord's house, shall be established in the top of the mountains. It will be, hold on, because this isn't the KJV. So like it one second, let me get the KJV. All right. All right, it says, um, this is Isaiah 2 and 2. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Most High Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh, to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. We will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Most High Yahweh from Jerusalem. All right, so that right there, just let you know, in the last days, which we're getting ready to come into, you nations are going to be going into slavery, all right? And you're going to be flowing into the Israelites' God, all right? Yahweh, that's the Most High, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the word ignorantly calls Jesus, all right? That's the gods of the world, all right, who made this earth, all right? Going down to verse 4, it says, And he shall judge among the nations, 
and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift those sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. All right, so you 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 heathen, because that's what you other nations are. You consider heathen in the eyes of the Most High. All right, and you're gonna be going to the Israelites. All right, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and and and, and they're gonna teach you the laws of the Most High Yahweh. All right, that's how you're gonna learn these laws. All right, we're gonna beat them into you. All right. Fuck this nigga talking about. When you truly have God, whatever it is, it's gonna be alright. Because you don't know that's God's will. The story's already been written. It's already been written. It speaks to him before we were born, and it refers to after we're already gone. What makes what makes us think we can change any aspect of what was already been written? Get into the book. Get into the word. Get into the word. Get into the word. You know, make whatever you're going through a lot easier to deal with. All right, I gotta read. I gotta read it, nigga. Shut up. All right. This is Leviticus. Okay, it's like it. This is Leviticus 19 and 27. It says, Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. All right, and as you can see, this man has got a line up and he has a bald head. All right, let me get another one. This is Leviticus 21 and 5. It says, They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. All right. And this individual has done all three of those things. All right. And he's not repenting from none of it. All right. He's sitting right here trying to teach you about, you know what I'm saying, who he perceives to be the most high. All right. Which is who, who he worships Jesus. All right. You know, that's who that man worships. Sweet red Jesus. All right. And but 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 you know what I'm saying? He don't do nothing that the book commands you to do. Why you can't do those things, all right? The most high ain't dealing with no hard headed ass individual. Alright. That's why I read that's why I quoted earlier, evil men understand not judgment. Alright, let me get that. Alright, I know it's in Proverbs. Yeah, this is Proverbs twenty eight and five. It says, evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the most high Yahweh understand all things, all right? So if you ain't seeking after Yahweh, why Yahweh shine those names, all right? You are wicked, you are wicked, all right? And you understand not judgment, all right? Let me see. Uh, let me see if something I want to get on. All right, let me read Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed expediently, therefore the heart of the sons of men is set, I mean, is fully set in them to do evil. All right, and that's what this that's what this individual is doing right now. He's trying to lull you back to sleep. All right, trying to reel you in on, on, some, on some God talk, but he's not even telling you the God that he worships. All right, because the scriptures say there are many gods. All right. Say what I have to say. God bless. Peace. All right, we're gonna end it right there. All right, um, one more in that part right there. I'm finna get some more scriptures to go with it. Just bear with me, Lord willing to be able to find. Okay, it's back on me now. Now I quoted this earlier, but I'm gonna pull it now. I'm gonna read it in its entirety. This is Second Corinthians chapter two. We're going to start at verse 3. It says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine to them. All right, so that's nothing you know right there. The God of this world is who this, who this individual on the screen is talking about. All right, he's talking about, 
know what I'm saying? Cesare, all right. Sweet Red Jesus, all right. Serapis, all right. Let me get a um. Let me get another precept. Uh, let me see. Um, cause the God of the Bible, the true living power of the Bible, is only the power of the Israelites. All right. That's it. Let me let me prove that. This is Amos chapter three and verse one. It says, hear this word that the Most High Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. All right, so that right there kills that kills that we are the world shit that this nigga is talking about. All right, you, you trying to get the whole world to think that the God of the Bible, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is dealing with them when he's only dealing with his people. He's gonna judge them, but he's not dealing with them on the level in the way that he deals with his people. All right. Let me go down to verse six. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Most High Yahweh has not done it? Surely the Lord Power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets unto His servants, the prophets." All right. So it says, "Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets to His servants." The prophets, all right, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh only deal with the prophets, all right? They only deal with the house of David, all right? And it says, um, in verse 6, shall the trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid, shall there be evil in the city, and the Most High Yahweh had not done it, all right? So when evil shit takes place, it's because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh made it take place, all right? That's in Zephaniah 3 and 5, the mist, the just, Most High, let me get it. I don't want to keep quoting, let me get it, all right? Because, you know what I'm saying? You fucking two thirds have some fucking nerve thinking that you can save the world when that, when that, when in actuality you fucking two thirds can't even save yourself. You are cut off yourself from the Lord. All right, this individual you see on the screen, he can't repent. All right, I mean, let me let me rephrase that. He could repent. He could repent if he's of the house of David. All right, if he's not of the house of David preordained from the foundation of the earth he's not repentance is not open to him on this side all right he has to learn it death by pain and be born again in the kingdom of heaven as a as a child all right this is zephaniah 3 and 5 it says the just most high yahweh is in the midst thereof he will not do iniquity every morning do it he bring his judgment to light he fell it not but the unjust knoweth no shame all right so this individual on the screen is, is, is definitely an unjust, all right? He he has no idea what the hell he's talking about, all right? And that's why in Job 12 and 16, it says the deceived and the deceiver are his, all right? All right, let me get, uh, let me get one more. Let me get two more. Let me go to John 18 and 36. It says, Yahweh Shah answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my... If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. All right, so you have Bashmi Al Shah just let you know his kingdom is not of this world. All right, he does not give a fuck about this world. The only thing in this world he's dealing with is his elect. All right, let me go to Amos chapter 9. We're gonna close that in there. All right, this is Amos chapter 9. We're gonna start at verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Most High Yahweh. So the sinful kingdom that he's talking about is America, all right? Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is bringing the plagues because he's getting ready to destroy this place with thermonuclear fire, all right? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has a couple more prophecies that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is going to make him push out before he does it. Primarily the implementation of the RFID microchip, all right, and then World War Three is going to commence, and then destruction from the Almighty is going to come down, all right. He's going to destroy this, destroy this whole setup, all right. Not the world, just America, all right, and uh, and and uh, Israel as well, all right. Verse nine, it says, "For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth." All right, so it said he's going to sift the house of Israel from among all nations because we were scattered, all right? When we went into slavery, as it reads in Deuteronomy 28 and 64, the Most High scattered us throughout all of the lands, all right? So we are meant, we mingled amongst all of the people. So you have Israelites that look like 
you know what I'm saying, all the other nations. All right, verse 10, this is to this individual and individuals like him on the screen, all right? To this individual on the screen and individuals like him, all right? And anybody that's not of the house of David, that's an Israelite. It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right, so, and the sword is a, is a killing instrument, all right? It could be, you know what I'm saying, through, or, through, or, through artillery, all right? Through see the wild beast, all right? Through vaccines, all right? And ultimately, the sword is going to be the ICBM, all right? Because in Isaiah 34, it says, um, the Most High Yahweh uh, sword shall be bathed in heaven and come down upon the people of his curse, Idumia, all right? And Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom, Esau, all right? So going down to verse 11, it says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. All right, so Yahweh Shai is only dealing with the house of David the same way he always is only dealt with the house of David. All right, two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to learn it death by pain, and you're gonna learn it death by pain. And Esau eat them. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai is gonna put the put the spirit on that devil to come down on you with great wrath, as the scriptures say. Behold, the devil coming down on you with great wrath because he know it he have but a short time. All right, and King David also said it, you know what I'm saying, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right, so Esau Edom is the sword as well. All right, so, you know what I'm saying, this is early morning. I just got off the plantation. Just wanted to put something together right quick. Lord willing, it was edifying. Give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Zalek, Kwam, Yasharala. The wild Baba Ball and death to the two thirds. Shalom.